Welcome to RevCharge Network. The possibilities for this technology are genuinely endless, ranging from enhancing machinery efficiency and power to lessening its influence on the environment. Hello friends, you are about to witness something that has the potential to permanently alter the way we think about electric motors. We'll look at how artificial intelligence is being applied to elevate motor design to a whole new level in this innovative video. The future of electric motors is here, and it's smarter than ever, so kick back, unwind, and get ready to be surprised. An intricately woven stator and coil assembly, combined with multi-material 3D printing, is the novel electric motor concept that Pico JK revealed. But whether this development will truly be the powertrain of the future is still up for debate. It also raises the question of whether artificial intelligence is now more capable of facilitating this advancement than human engineers have been. A moving rotor is typically included in the design of a modern electric motor in addition to the stationary stator. The magnetic flux produced by these two components allows a motor shaft to spin. The materials for these parts, however, can differ based on the kind of motor. Power density and efficiency are frequently the key performance indicators when assessing a motor. Power density quantifies the amount of power a motor can generate in relation to its dimensions and weight, whereas efficiency quantifies the amount of energy that is wasted as heat instead of being put to use turning the motor. Electric motor technology will develop further by maximizing these aspects. The quantity of power output per volume is known as density, while the ratio of power input to output is known as efficiency. Comprehending these two metrics is essential since numerous motor types can attain elevated efficiency, with synchronous motors reaching their maximum at 97%. But when it comes to power density, there is a big difference between a permanent magnet motor and an induction motor. Because they can produce stronger magnetic fields than induction motors, permanent magnet motors typically have better power densities. As a result, a motor that is smaller can provide the same amount of power as an induction motor that is larger. Electric motors' efficiency and power density will rise with further technological advancements, opening up fresh possibilities for creative applications across a range of industries. The capacity to continuously sustain high efficiencies is another essential component of electric motor design. When the gadget functions with little heat output and excellent efficiency, energy is saved. But as motor designs advance and become more effective, it is crucial to make sure that the motor's weight is kept to a minimum. This is due to the possibility of increased stress from high-density power sources, which could impair the performance of larger motors. The development of superconductors has transformed electric motor architecture recently because these materials have power densities that are exponentially higher than that of any motor now on the market. They are the perfect choice for future technologies that demand high power densities. Still, the fact that superconducting motors require cryogenic cooling poses a serious obstacle to their development. Thus, a crucial field of material science study is the creation of superconductors that can function at greater temperatures. For this reason, high power densities, low weight, and excellent efficiency would characterize the perfect electric motor design. In the future, these elements might be considered standard for electric motor designs due to developments in material science and cryogenic cooling technologies. Electric motor design must take into consideration eddy current losses in addition to high efficiency, low weight, and high power densities. The term losses describes the energy that is lost as heat as a result of the magnetic fields that are created inside the motor. It would be groundbreaking and very useful for electric motors if a material could regulate eddy current losses and be 3D printed with a specific profile that has high power density. Permanent magnet designs are difficult because of their high cost, even though they are advantageous for generating high power density and efficiency. In order to achieve comparable performance without the expensive cost of permanent magnet motors, researchers have been focusing on the development of substitute materials. The application of non-permanent magnet materials, like soft magnetic composites, has demonstrated encouraging outcomes in lowering the cost of producing electric motors without sacrificing high efficiency. All things considered, the optimal electric motor design would have to cope with issues with cost, weight, power density, and efficiency. Future electric motors may be more cost-effective and high-performing, while also being more efficient and inexpensive if materials that may overcome these difficulties are developed. Businesses are looking at different designs, such as the induction motor, to get around the expensive permanent magnet designs for electric motors. Nevertheless, the induction motor has many disadvantages, including weak starting torque, problems with speed control, and reduced efficiency at low loads. Without adjustments, these variables render it inappropriate for use with electric vehicles. While induction motors are not the best choice for electric vehicles, they might work well enough to power pumps or compressors. Researchers are therefore developing changes to deal with these problems, like controlling the torque and speed of the electric motor via power electronics. 
The motor's efficiency and power density will increase as a result of these upgrades, making it a great option for use in electric car applications. To sum up, permanent magnet designs are now the most expensive, even though they might be the most efficient. Although they need to be modified for usage in electric vehicles, alternative designs like the induction motor offer potential. Ultimately, the ability to find materials and technologies that can overcome these obstacles and produce high-performance, cost-effective electric motors will determine how electric motor design develops in the future. Following the example set by Tesla's Sin RM, businesses such as ZF and Mali have recently developed magnet-free systems. The induction motor is still used in additive manufacturing and software design, nevertheless. In this subject, the most recent advancement is the 3D printing of copper coils, which enables the creation of intricate geometries with intriguing magnetic fields by laser powder bed printing. This is a fascinating discovery that may completely alter the way motor designs are made. We might witness improved performance and efficiency together with a decrease in production time and expenses using 3D printed copper coils. It's great to see where electric motor design goes in the future, and it will be interesting to watch how this technology develops over time. This invention is interesting in that it allows for the creation of more precise, personalized copper coil designs through the use of algorithmic engineering. Still, constructing the motor core, which gives all the other components their structural support, remains a significant task. Usually, a combination of steel and metal laminations are joined to create this. Additive manufacturing offers more geometric design flexibility, which may be advantageous for the fabrication of contemporary soft magnetic cores. This could therefore make the creation of multi-axis, spherical, and transversal flux motors easier. Khan showed out a novel radial flux motor hybrid that weighs only 86 pounds and produces an amazing 800 horsepower, illustrating the possibility of avoiding the lamination steel process. Similar SD magnetic flux routes may be possible with soft magnetic cores, which when combined with creative copper coil designs may lead to unorthodox motor designs. With the release of Leap71's open-source Pico GK software, computational engineers may now use SLM solutions machines to create electric motor parts. The machine can print the rotor and housing in steel, and the coils in 3D printed copper. It can also create a multi-material powder deposition solution. Customized data coil assemblies are now possible thanks to this groundbreaking development. Future iterations of the procedure might include the use of soft magnetic composite materials, the SLM Solutions machine can pick the powder for each layer individually with the help of several laser scanners and drums. Because they can include another material for cooling channels and are electrically non-conductive, soft magnetic composites are perfect for this technique. Though it can be fixed with additional heat treatment, the conductivity loss connected to 3D printed copper coils continues to be a disadvantage. For some electric motors, laser-based powder fusion technology might not be the most economical option, even though it works well for creating complex parts. Still, there are practically endless opportunities in computational engineering. We are already seeing the fabrication of 3D printed motors thanks to developments in multi-material additive manufacturing. Converting the computer model into a physical thing is currently the only barrier. It's vital to remember that the prototype hasn't undergone extensive testing yet, so there are still a lot of unanswered issues about whether it might be used as a motor design manufacturing approach in the future. We are interested in hearing your opinions on these fascinating advancements, though. If you thought the video was interesting, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, and don't forget to click the like button. We are grateful that you have joined us on this exciting adventure to discover how AI can be used to develop a completely new kind of electric motor. We want to leave you with a lot of questions about the possibilities this technology has, but we also want you to keep an eye on the future. Who can predict what advances in motor design and AI will bring? Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like this video, and feel free to share your ideas with us in the comments area. We eagerly await your communication.